Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, I've been asked by a number of subscribers to do a walk around and go over the features of the Weeped Sonic. Um, the first in the US, first in North America, um, pretty much outside of Korea, the very first one. So one of the things that immediately comes to mind when you see it up close and try and push it around is the weight of it um with the three batteries two internal and one external it actually weighs about 400 pounds it is extremely heavy but it's very nimble once you start it up and it goes um uh it's just like any other scooter but it's extremely powerful so the first thing i'm going to do is turn it on let everything boot up um, and then I'll go over the uh, the features and what I've added to the scooter um, and then we'll go from there so first noticeably is the external battery um, we have one here two in the body of um, the scooter uh, all three of them combined for a total of 84 uh, 8400 kilowatts um, the speed of it will go just about to 100 miles an hour or pretty close um, it comes with uh, the dual headlights which I will turn on by the switch we have headlights flashers turn signals horn got sounds just like a uh, car horn um, the dual headlights have high and low beam as well as um, you could do high or low or both um, so that's a nice feature I have my uh, ultra lock in case I want to lock it somewhere I have um, a dash cam that was installed um, from Weeped. Um, you can buy them on Amazon, but installed it was about $150. Um, and it records as soon as uh, you start it up. Now, getting into the features of the actual scooter. It's got Brembo brakes, which are the best in the world. I've had a number of my sports cars have Brembo brakes and they are extremely extremely good when you want to stop um, the rotors for a scooter are incredibly large um, as you can see um, front and back they're Brembo hydraulic um, what else can I show you all right so we have the display and unlike um, the other Weep Heads of yesteryear um, that didn't come with a display, this one does. It displays the battery, um, how far you've gone. It does kilometers, miles per hour, the time, and the last trip. Um, it has the uh, voltmeter here, throttle key and then the stuff that I've added I've added my GoPro uh, to it to do my videos um, turn signals there and as you can see front and rear um, I actually like the hazard lights which are really cool um, so both of the hazards in the front and both in the rear come on so that's a nice addition to it um, for the next two features these are special for what I ordered um, we have the single dual motor button which is not available to the general public uh, because I purchased this prior to um, pre-production. Um, 
the people at WePed gave me uh, that. And this is cruise control. And this cruise control works just like a car, not with them cheap Chinese scooters where uh, if you hold the throttle on for six seconds, it goes. This one works just like a car. You press it at whatever speed you're at, it stays on. Press it again, it goes off. If you have it on and you wanna go faster, just set the throttle faster and it will continue on. To stop it, either press the brake or press the button. So that's that. Um, it has great shocks, uh, two in the rear that are adjustable. You can adjust both of them. And it has a massive front shock that is also adjustable right here. Um, you can do it fast or slow for the rebound. Um, I have it for slow because I like, um, I like the smoothness of it. Um, this is not for trails. This is just for cruising. Um, but I figured I'd do a, a real quick um, video because I've been asked so many times. Um, they see me uh, going someplace, but they never seen an overview of the scooter. One last thing that I've added aside from my bag here is the um, anti-vibration uh, cell phone holder, which you need because um, you don't want anything happening to your cell phone. Other than that, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. And if you have any more uh, comments, please leave them below. Thanks and have a nice day.